There does seem to be some confusion as to when you pay tax on your crypto gains. This would apply if you're doing it self-employed or if you're doing it for a limited company, the same principle would apply. If you want to know if you can buy crypto through a limited company or through your limited company, then feel free to reach out to me. My contact details will be somewhere at the bottom of this video, but also if you want to go on our website, it's all the W's, rjf.uk.com. Yeah, you can contact me there and ask about buying crypto for your company. But in terms of tax, there's a misconception that it's when you actually draw the money that you've got on account in your crypto platform, that's when you've got the cash. So for example, you do some trades, you've sold some, uh, you've lost on some, you've got some really good gains and now there's a, you know, hopefully a small fortune sat in your um, account on your crypto platform and when you draw that down and put it in your bank account is that when the tax arises? Well unfortunately it's not. The tax arises when you make a gain on a, a trade. So what does that mean in simple plain English? It means that when you sell a crypto coin then you pay tax on the gain in on that. Not when you take the money out of the platform into your bank account. So Say for example, you buy a thousand pounds worth of Ethereum. That is then worth two thousand five hundred in a month's time. Say for example, so on the face of it, your asset, which is your crypto coin, that has gone up by fifteen hundred pounds. So do you pay tax at that point? Well, no. If you're just going to leave it and let it grow, and it could go down, but. You know, at this point in time, no tax is incurred. <clears throat> the tax would happen if on that day you see it's worth 2,500, you then sell that and make 1,500 pound profit. So when you've done that trade, you've sold it, that's when the tax arises. Now what you might do, you might say, well, I wanna leave that profit in the crypto platform because I'm gonna buy some more, I'm gonna buy some other crypto which has gone down in price, so there looks like a buying opportunity. So I'm going to use my profit of £1,500 to buy that. Um, so I'm not going to draw down the money. So people think, well, I'm, I'm not paying tax on that. But the thing is, you are paying, you do have to declare your tax on that gain. I'll come on to about personal allowances in a bit. But in terms of this illustration, the tax has arisen on that £1,500 gain. So really, if you're being good with your money, you don't put the full £1,500 on the crypto. You work out what the tax is and put that away and that's your tax on that. But that's when the tax arises. It's important to know the difference with that, that it's not when you draw that money down from your crypto platform. Now, in terms of tax, it's taxed under capital gains. Company is taxed under capital gains, but it's a corporation tax rate. But for the purposes of this, we'll just assume that you're doing it as, um, as a casual trade, just looking at sort of making use of your money or want to get into the market because you've you know fear of missing out on it yeah people making a lot of money so normally that would come under capital gains now under capital gains you get a tax allowance so as of today which is january 2022 you get 12,300 gains tax free so in that illustration where you made 1500 pound in reality if you've got no other capital gains which could be property you know selling property or selling any other assets or shares assuming that you do nothing else just crypto that 1500 pound actually isn't taxable because you, you're operating within your uh, personal annual allowance so anything up to 12,300 all those gains you wouldn't have to pay tax but for the purpose of explaining that there is a difference between drawing the money from your platform and actually closing a trade it's important to know that closing the trade is when the tax arises.